U.S. President Joe Biden has been very public during every step of his response to Russia's actions in Ukraine. Normally, in the face of a foreign conflict, politicians from both political parties stand united, but not this time. Former President Donald Trump, during a radio interview, recalled his relationship with the Russian leader, Thank you very much. praising his moves in Ukraine. Putin is now saying it's independent, a large section of Ukraine. I said, how smart is that? And he's going to go in and be a peacekeeper. That's the strongest peace force. We could use that on our southern border. That's the strongest peace force I've ever seen. There were more army tanks than I've ever seen. They're going to keep peace all right. No, but think of it. Here's a guy who's very savvy. And he's not alone. His former Secretary of State also weighed in early in the crisis. Very shrewd. Very capable. I have enormous respect for him. I've been criticized for saying that. Uh, no, I have enormous respect for him. Uh, he was also an interlocutor that was uh, always well-informed and deeply clear about what Russian interests were. Experts say this could have an impact. Trump's words have a big impact, especially on his followers. And we see some people in the Republican Party, elected officials, as well as some you know, watchers, say viewers of Fox News and, and people on the uh, far right um, who, you know, agree with Trump, right? And they, you know, see the United States as a place that in some ways should be more like Russia, right? It should be more authoritarian. A recent poll seems to back up the idea that the Republican Party is shifting. 62% of Republicans and GOP-leaning independents said Putin is a stronger leader than President Biden, while an additional 25% declined to choose between the American and Russian president. The White House is dismissing Trump's comments. Well, as a matter of policy, uh, we try not to take advice uh, from anyone who praises President Putin and his military strategy, which I believe is what happened there. The U.S. president has been focused on keeping his allies united, while at home, his predecessor tried to make sure his country is not. Patty Colhane, Al Jazeera, Washington.